one day uh, into your career as an eagle, how does it feel? Yeah, um, like Josh said, it's pretty surreal. Like, that doesn't feel real yet. Um, yeah, it's all been a pretty big whirlwind uh, last, last few days, sort of leading up to it. And um, yeah, yeah, I can't believe it that I'm, that I'm actually here with, with one of my best mates. Uh, yesterday at home with the family watching it and you came out as the last pick. Was there, did you ever think that you weren't going to get there? Um, well, as I sort of slipped on later in the draft, uh, probably high chances of me ending up at the Eagles with the, the bidding and whatnot. But um, yeah, it, it was a long day. Um, yeah, probably probably was thinking I was going to go a bit earlier, but you know, I'm just happy with the result and happy happy with me. Are you, are you happy to carry that tag of being a waterman? Does it give you more pressure or are you a bit used to it by now? Um, yeah, it's sort of, that's been thrown out a fair bit, but I've sort of brushed that off as I've got older and learned to deal with it. Um, as I was a young kid, um, sort of plagued me a little bit, but um, yeah, now I think I, I think I passed that and I'm just trying to make a name for myself. You've been around the club for quite a while, a lot of your, a lot of your life. Does that make it a bit easier? Um, yeah, I know a few faces around here. Um, Dad's introduced me to some faces around here since I was a young kid, so it's been good to have those those people still around and you know help me along the way. But yeah, I've, like me and Josh have met met some of the boys through RES and we train here. But yeah, um, yeah, can't wait to meet some new people and get to know the boys a bit better. How was your dad last time? How was my day? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, like I said, it was a long one, but um, yeah, once my name got called out, it's just a whole lot of relief, and I finally made a childhood dream to this moment, and um, to celebrate it with um, some friends and family, it was just unreal. How about your season? You've seen it uh, obviously burst onto the scene with Fairmont, plenty of media attention. Yeah. How have you sort of seen it now, and obviously culminating in being drafted? Um, yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been a long year. Um, been a lot of a lot of pressure in the year, as a, as everyone would say, going through their draft year. It's it, it's a big ride. Um, there's a lot going on, but um, yeah, I've I've enjoyed it. You know, I wouldn't wouldn't have it any other way. And um, yeah, I've, I've ticked a few boxes in the in the areas that I try try to get get done. And you know, I was happy with that. And um, I think I've been rewarded for it. Yeah, pick 77. Obviously, everyone thought, and you just said it then probably got a little bit earlier. But does that maybe take a little bit of pressure off yourself coming into next year? The expectations? Um, no, not really. Um, I'll hold high expectations on myself, just just like any other player. Um, yeah, I mean, um, the the tag of 77. You know, I've tried to make myself more valuable than that. Um, all I can do is do the best I can. See how I go. Um, obviously, Josh Kennedy, a number of years ahead of him, but sort of grooming as the next sort of forward yourself. Uh, how does that tag sit with you that you could be one day leading that Eagles attack? Um, yeah, it's something. Um, you know, it's it's my dream to to debut for the Eagles. Um, but um, you know, if I can have a career half as good as JK's, you know, I'll, I'll be stoked. And um, yeah, I'm just, just going to have to learn a lot of him and Jackie Darling in the next few weeks and hopefully my whole career. How about your conversations with Alec? How was Alec yesterday and what did he have to say to you guys? Yeah, well, he was pick 76. So I was 77, so he let me know as soon as the picks went past, I just looked at him. and he, I, I thought I had him, but um, nah. But um, yeah, he's, he's really proud of me and um, unfortunately he can't be here with me, but um, um, it's still early days and you know, that, that's the dream. I guess you've grown up watching tapes of your dad and, and that sort of thing as a player. As players, do you see any similarities between your games, or are you fairly? Different? Um, yeah, we're fairly different. Um, or he was sort of more of a more of a defender, whereas I'm um, I'm pretty pretty much five or six centimetres taller than him at the moment. Hopefully, still growing. But yeah, um, there's there's not much similarities with me and him. Um, with him and my brother, there definitely is. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not quite like them. How about uh, you spent some time at the club earlier this year? How much of an insight did that give you, not only to the AFL but but West Coast as a club? Yeah, um, yeah, that was amazing. That was a, the best experience I've had in my junior footy, just being around the club and that two weeks were here was the, the quickest two weeks of my life because I just had so much fun and just loved it. Sort of opened my eyes to what I actually wanted to do in my career and um, yeah, it just um, motivated me to you know want to, want to put my foot down a bit more and you know, get there. To get to AFL level, what do you need to improve most on? Um, I think uh, as a third tall forward, I need a I think my endurance base is already at a good enough level, but I think I want to be a lead in that level. Um, also with my marking, is um, I've just got to keep working on my, on my strength and my, my marking is probably my biggest strength. I want to make that a lead as well, but um, I think my, my clean hands could do some fair, a fair bit of work, um, but you know, I'm just going to work on everything. How, how much have you thought about running out in front of 50,000 screaming West Coast fans? Um, yeah, I've, like a real kid, you think about it, think about that a bit, and as you get closer to the draft, it's, you know, it's pretty crazy how much thought goes into it. But um, yeah, now now I'm here. It's definitely thinking about you know, getting a debut one day and having that opportunity. Does it still feel surreal that you'd be paid to play <laughs> next year? <laughs> um, oh, 
I, I haven't really thought about that yet. Um, I, I would play for this club no matter what. And um, yeah, I guess the money's a bonus, but I'm not really thinking about it at all.